Welcome to 42 Lifeline with Pastor Eddie. Um, I'm excited that, that God is doing uh, marvelous work in my life and in the church. And I see, I see God moving in a mighty way and I'm excited. And I'm excited to speak to, to everybody on YouTube and, and Facebook and, and to tell you what God is doing and, and give you a word, a word of encouragement, a word that, that you could take today and say, look, you know, I, I need this because we all need Christ and we all need, we all need to have a, a relationship with him because if not, we're, we're just all over the place. And, and today um, I want to talk a little bit about what I talked about on Sunday and Wednesday and Friday because I did like a little series and it was called the, the true vine, the dead vine, and the fruitful vine. But today I'm just going to wrap it up with the main scripture that, that I gave in that, um, in that little series that I did. And, you know, I hope that you guys be blessed and, and just receive what, what God has, you know, for you. As God has blessed me, I pray that he'll bless you with this word that I'm going to bring to you today. And this is in the book of John, chapter 15, and it's verse 1 through 8. And here we, it, it's Christ. This is a parable that he talks about, the true vine. And, and I'm going to just start from the beginning. It says, I am the true vine, and the Father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. Um... The true vine here is Christ. He says, I am the true vine. So if you look in your Bible, it's red letters. So it's Jesus talking. He is the true vine. He is the, the, the main guy here. And um, it says, and my father is a vine dresser. The vine dresser is, is um, God the father. And I was telling the church on Sunday that the, a vine dresser, what he does is he comes and cleans and prunes and fixes everything up so we could start, you know, so it, it could produce more fruit. And that's what God wants. God wants to clean us up. He is, he is the one that's going to clean us up and, and take care of us. And then it also says that every branch in me that does not bear fruit, we are the branches. So... Jesus is the true is the true vine. God is the vine dresser, God the Father, and we are the branches. And then if we just jump to verse 3, it says, You already you are already clean because of the word which I have spoken to you. So we know as Christians, we know the word. Jesus is like, I get I have given you the word. You have been saved. You know about Christ, you know, which I have spoken to you. You know, we already know Christ. We know the word, you know, and he has given it to us, and that word gives us life. That word gives me life every day. I'm alive because of the word of God. And then and then we're gonna get a little bit good here. I'm not gonna take up too much time today, but I just wanna I wanna I wanna touch these points because I believe if we practice this in our lives, we are gonna go forward. And um Verse 4 says, Abide in me and I in you, as, mu as the branch cannot bear fruit of its own unless it abides in the vine. Neither can you unless you abide in me. So basically he's saying, if you're not connected to me, you're not going to survive. You know, if, if you're not connected to me, you're not going to bear fruit. It says, Abide in me and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides abides in the vine so if we're not connected to christ we're like we're not gonna we're not gonna we're gonna not gonna bear fruit we're not gonna grow we're not our lives are gonna be just nothing you know what i mean and and um we need to start bearing fruit we need to be connected to jesus you know a lot of times you know i, I see it like you know oh my day is so busy i don't have time you know we have time we have time God gives us time. He gives us, we, we could wake up in the morning, seek Him, read His Word, you know, get filled with Him, get more of Him. You know, we need to be connected. Jesus is the source of our life. And that source is the one that's going to make us grow. We will, we will not grow if we are not connected to the vine. If we're not connected to the vine, 
the branch gets cut off, and what happens if the branch cuts off? The branch is on the floor, it's not connected to the vine, it's gonna wither. You know, like plain and simple. And then verse 5, uh, I'm, I'm moving along. Verse 5 says, I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me, I in him bear much fruit, for without me you cannot do nothing. It seems like Jesus is like saying the same thing over and over again. I think this whole parable, he's trying to get our attention to tell us, look, if you don't, if you don't connect to me, if you're not connected to me, let me tell you, you're going to die. Not only you're going to die, you're not going to bear any fruit. God wants, Jesus is saying, you know, get connected. Get connected to me. Because if you're connected to me, I give you the source of life. Jesus is the source of life. You, can't, you have to be connected to him. It says, look at, this is so awesome. It says, without me... You can't do nothing. Like basically, like I see myself, and let me tell you, without Christ, I, I live this verse. Without Jesus, I can't do nothing. I need him in the morning. I need him in the afternoon. I need him when I'm working. I need him right now. I, I have him right now because I need him right now to go and tell you that we need to be connected to Christ. Christ is saying he is the vine. We're the branches. Without us connected to him, we're going to be lost. So he wants us to be connected. Verse 6. If anyone does not abide in me, he is casted out as a branch and is withered. And they gather them and throw them into the fire and they are burned. Huh, this part, people don't like this part right here. Because, you know, it's talking about, you know, like if you're not connected to him eventually, you know what's going to happen? You're going to wither, you're going to get cast, and you're going to throw, you're going to get thrown into the fire. Use your own imagination. Because the Bible talks about heaven and hell, so use your own imagination. We need to be connected to Jesus. He is the true vine. He is the one that we, he is our source of life. With him, we will bear fruit. Without him, we will not bear any fruit. We need him in our lives. Amen. So, verse 7. If you abide in me and my word abides in you, you will ask what you desire and it shall be done for you. By this my Father is glorified that you bear much fruit, so you will be my disciple. This part here, God spoke to me on Sunday in the morning when I was like, you know, going over my message before I went to church. God spoke to me in this part um, when I was reading this. And he's like, <clears throat> he said to me, he said, if you're connected to me, if you're connected to me, you don't need anything. You don't need anything. Like it says, he, it, the verse says that ask what you desire and it shall be done. You see, when you're connected to Christ, it's like all you want is Christ. All you want is more Christ. All you think about is Christ. All I want is to be closer to Jesus. That's my desire. My desire is to be have a better relationship with Him every day because I know that He is my source of life. Without Him, I can't do nothing. The Word is clear. And God spoke to me. He says, when you're connected to me, you do not desire anything. So it's not like, like the Bible here says, ask and you shall receive. Like, I don't need to ask God for nothing because all I want is more of Him. And when we have more of Him, you know what happens? That we, we're not worried about our needs, our wants, or anything because everything is being taken care of while we're just thinking about Him, thinking about being connected to Him. And everything, everything is just connecting because God is connecting everything. We don't need, we, we don't, we're not going to need anything. We're not even going to need to ask for anything because he's going to be taking care of everything for us. He's going to be there taking care of every need without us even asking because God knows what we need. God knows exactly what we need, when we need it, and how we need it. And, and that's what God spoke to me very clearly. And I was like, God, you know. I want to be connected to the vine. That's my, my desire is to be connected to Christ. And I hope that is your desire to be connected to the Lord. Because I think 
if we're connected to the Lord, everything else, all the noise that is around us is going to disappear. Because there is a whole lot of noise always around each and every one of us. And let me tell you, when we're connected to the vine, everything is going to disappear. Um, I hope that you are blessed. And um, everybody that was watching, you know, my Henry, my wife is showing me the people that were watching. Um, I hope you're blessed and, and thank you for watching, you know, and all the other people that are going to watch because um, we need we need Christ. We need Christ in our lives. And and I believe that that God has a plan and a purpose for for this videos. I believe that through these videos that I'm giving people are being touched, transformed and 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 their lives are being renewed. Because that's what God is doing in my life. Constantly, He's renewing me and, and He's allowing me to bring you a message today. And um, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Get connected to the vine and the true vine and that's Jesus Christ. Amen.